Today I'm reviewing an app called Lagfix. I want to see if it works and let you know if you should download it or not. So let's get to it. Right, so before I get into it, I'll talk about my live wallpaper because I'm surely going to get some questions about that. It's called Ditalix. I think that's pronounced properly. And as you can see, you can touch it and it splits into segments. And as you swipe across it, it also splits the path into segments. Okay, so let's get into the live wallpaper and I'll show you all the features of it. As I said, it's called Ditalix. I think I've pronounced that properly. Right, so under settings, you've got some options. You can choose between different themes you can download. Now, I've got the free version, so uh, I think if you want to buy the Half-Life version, you've got to pay for that in that purchase. Under theme settings, you've got different shapes you can choose from. You've got the square, the leaves, and the owl. As you can see, once again, if you touch it, the owl split and multiply. We have Glow Style. You can choose between the different styles. I'll select Eclipse for this purpose of this video. And you get to choose the background image. Uh, you can choose any background image you've got on your device. And there's some stock images that this live orb comes with. Okay, you've got uh, Brightness. You can choose. You can choose Transparency. The Depth. Uh, the more depth you choose, the more CPU usage you're going to be using. You can choose the animation the speed, how you want it to interact with your finger, and you can buy it, so you can randomize. So I'm going to set this, and you can see the different color that I've now chosen. There you go. So if you like it, you can download it from the Play Store, it's free, and I'll put a link in the description. Right, let's get to the application, Lagfix. Once you click on Lagfix, you get three tick boxes you can choose, Cache, Data, and System. Um, when it reboots, I'll tell you what this is supposedly doing to your system, your device. Um, so I'm going to tick all three boxes, I'm going to click Run, and then it's going to tell me to restart my device. And when it's restarting, I'll go through and give you a definition of what this tool is supposedly doing to your device. So reboot. Okay. Okay, so now I think most of you understand that Android is based on Linux. And lag, basically with, with Linux what lag is, is uh, your system stops for a period of time, maybe only a millisecond. But what it's doing is the memory controller is unsure which blocks of storage are full and which blocks aren't in use on your Android device. So what this application is supposedly doing is telling your memory controller which blocks are being used and which blocks are free. So that would theoretically reduce the lag on your device. Now does it work? Um, I'm running a custom ROM. This is uh, basically a clean Android 4.1.2. There's no bloatware, there's no touch whiz, um, which means there's no S note. This app Lagfix has not improved my system at all. I was running XXLEC, which was a Samsung's leak firmware, and it definitely made an improvement on that firmware. So the answer, if you're running a clean jelly bean, <laughs> it's funny, uh, it won't make an improvement. If you're running ICS, then I think you can expect to see some lag improvement.